Cats is next. College football will be back after this word from your local station. Let me show you a remarkable play in the first half by Vinny Testaverde, the quarterback, the Heisman hopeful of the Miami Hurricanes. He doesn't go down easy. In fact, he breaks several tackles here. And Testaverde turns a 10-yard loss at least into a 10-yard gain. Significant thing here, it kept the drive alive, and the Canes went on and scored the lone touchdown of this game after that scramble, and they lead it 7-3 here. At the, the true measure of a man's character is revealed only under adversity. What you are about to see is the remarkable story of a young athlete faced with the ultimate adversity. He is Mark Bonacotti, the son of former NFL All-Pro Nick Bonacotti. A year ago at this time, he was playing for the Citadel, following in his father's footsteps at middle linebacker. Then, all of a sudden, he saw his life flash before his eyes. When you ever see him in movies, you think, well, they break your neck, you know, you're going to die. I thought of dying. I thought I was going to die, maybe. He was so full of life, so vital, even aggressive. The play, it seemed routine, but he never got up. I rolled over, and um, I noticed my arm was just lying there. Actually, I saw it fall. And if it wasn't connected to my shoulder, I wouldn't have known it was my arm. It was very difficult for me to walk into that room and look at my son in the condition that he was in and, and, and not feel that, uh, uh, that a great part of his life was, uh, was, was drained from him. I saw what he looked like, you know, in, in that position with his, um, his head shaved and, and things coming out of his head to, to keep his neck stable and uh, tubes actually down through his nose and in his throat. And it was just, it was just unbelievable, you know, I just... I just practically went hysterical at that point, and that's when, you know, the, the extent of his injury definitely sunk in. Mark is the product of a close-knit family where football was important in their lives. Both on the field and off, father and son play to win. The Bonacanis found the driven attitude and the neuroscientific knowledge they were pursuing right here in their own hometown. It's called the Miami Project, and its goal is to find a cure for paralysis. Mark's injury mobilized the Miami Project to recruit world-class scientists and innovative technology. It's a costly undertaking, but one to which Miamians and others have responded. I don't want to be said that the reason that someone is in a wheelchair, namely my son Mark, is because there wasn't enough money to fund the research that is needed to find a cure for paralysis. I am 100% confident that we're going to be able to cure paralysis. I can't tell you when or where, but I can tell you the Miami Project will be an important part of it. There are scientists who have made major breakthroughs in this country and elsewhere to show that this is indeed a feasible goal. We can, in animal experiments, show that we can actually repair uh, severe damages to both brain and spinal cord. Among the therapies Mark is undergoing, this electronic stimulation, which is retraining his muscles, but modern technology offers more than minor miracles. It holds the major promise of hope. It's a great feeling, you know? I believe that Mark is coping with his environment, and I've never accepted it. Uh, we're never going to accept it. When you accept your injury, you lose hope. When you lose hope, your, deem your dreams die. And, and everything else dies with it and along with it. Hope, faith, and hard work have allowed Mark Bonacotti to dream of one day walking away from this ordeal. It's been 11 months since my injury. And um, finally next week I'll be, I'll be going home, which means more than anything to me, going home. And just moments ago, the huge crowd at the Orange Bowl paid tribute to the special grace and courage of Mark Bonacotti. And best of all, he'll be going home in just a few days. What could be a greater gift for Mark and his family as they get set to celebrate his 20th birthday on Monday? And all of us here at CBS wish him the very best. The second half is next. This is the Prudential College Football Report on CBS. Back inside the Orange Bowl where number two Miami leads number one Oklahoma seven to three. And if you're just joining us this afternoon, I'm Pat O'Brien and welcome back to the Orange Bowl. If you're just joining us, don't let that score fool you. Every one of those points was made the old-fashioned way. They earned them. Now, we're going to get you back to the second half here in just a moment. Play's about to resume, but first, a special message from my colleague, Brent Musburger. 
Well, each Saturday on our coverage of NCAA football here on CBS, we select a Chevrolet player of the game. And in conjunction with that award, Chevrolet contributes a $1,000 scholarship to the general scholarship fund of both schools. Pleasure to welcome back an old friend, Tom Stout, who is the general marketing director of the Chevrolet Motor Division. Tom, nice to have you with us. Thanks, Brent. How many times are you going to get to see a confrontation of the number one and number two teams? Hard to beat, isn't it? Oh, it's tremendous. Tom, why a most valuable player award from Chevrolet in a game like this? Well, Brent, to us, it symbolizes more than anything else the very best values in college football, the need to use your talent to the fullest, commitment, dedication, hard work, teamwork, the will to win, things that can stand you in good stead all of your life, and you know, Brent, over these 16 seasons and 2,500 awards, we've really seen some spectacular performances, haven't we? Well, we sure have. By some of the really great players, and standing right beside us today is one of the very best, and I might add most exciting, Dan Marino of the Miami Dolphins. Dan, nice to have you with us this afternoon. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. And uh, I know it was an honor for me to win the award while I was in college. And uh, I think the most important thing that everybody has to realize is that the scholarship uh, donation helps other students in the university and necessarily wouldn't get that help. And, and you feel that you personally contribute to the school when you do that. Dan, I want to wish you a lot of luck tomorrow against the San Francisco 49ers. Well, thank you, Brent. We're looking forward to it and uh, hope we win the game. All right. And Tom, certainly a lot of thanks to you for all the help you've done all the students do. Well, thanks to you, Brent, and thank you, Dan. All right. And we'll continue with our coverage of Oklahoma-Miami in just a moment. 